Hey YouTube, this is Dr. Londa and I'm seated with Gia. It has been so long since me and Gia have done a show together and it just seemed like if we don't do it, we're not going to do it. So I pushed Gia, I said let's go outside, let's go to the park and let's just kind of talk. So we closing out our school year. You're out of school finally. Yeah. And what's on your mind? Um, I'm happy that I'm not there. You're happy that you made it through the school year. Yeah, I'm happy that I made it through the school year. I'm happy that yeah. I'm not there because I went through a whole year of um missing you. You miss me the whole time? I miss you the whole time. I was like, I can't wait to get to my mom because all I did is get beat up. Oh, that a teacher? Yeah. Yeah. And it was and it was so I could handle it, but then my class was just chaos. Why oh. was the class so okay, chaotic? You tell them to do something, they don't they don't want to do it, and they don't know how to do it. Okay. And one one issue with our class was talking too much. Yeah. They talk way too much. So when 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 one person's talking, it brings penalty on yes. everybody else. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I never agreed with that whole, you know, as a teacher, like, you know, one person does something, the whole, the whole class gets punished. Yeah. I never was into that. Um, okay, but, you know, this is the first I'm really learning how much you miss me, though. Yeah, I missed you a lot. Okay. So, we, 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 we're starting um, this new year off and the Tema Newtown arrangement, which has been beautiful and interesting, and Gia has been able to be submerged in a whole bunch of culture and community but now i want her to live with me full time how are you feeling about that i feel great about living with you the whole time but the only minus is that i won't be with my family a lot so you're gonna miss them yeah i'm gonna miss them but then i'm also gonna accept it yeah that well that's what we do we have to accept and i i really I'm struggling with a portion of that too, particularly Grandma Vic. Yeah. Yeah, because I love, I love your relationship with her. I adore yeah, well, that. Grandma Vic is my best friend. Whether is she? she? Whether she understand me or she don't, that's my, that's my real best friend. That's your real best friend. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm looking at my daughter and I'm saying to myself, I got the extra space. We have a three bedroom townhouse. I call it a townhouse because that's it's more than an apartment to me. And I want her with me. I want to be involved in all of the um, teenage antics and growth. And, um, you know, I, I want to see, see the, her um, get organized and make sure that she's doing homework. I want to, um, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, 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 I personally am tired of the distance and worrying and wondering. So it's just time. But we ain't mad at nobody. No, we're not mad at anybody. Yeah. We, 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 we love my extended family. We just, you know, I had to take the time to be with my mom. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? The extended family is uh, through marriage, but we didn't miss a beat even with all of the storm and strife. They have been an amazing family to G and I, wouldn't you say? Yeah. Yeah, and they've been instrumental, I would say, even not only in my healing, but also in the continued success of Wonderland's Naturals because Grandma Vic and Susie are two team members and two major players. I, 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 I need them a lot. I need them yeah. a lot. Yeah. So that's one interesting thing. Um, what else you want to say? Um, I'm, I'm finally in ninth grade. She says she's finally in ninth grade. I think she's in eighth grade. I'm in ninth grade. She says she's in ninth grade. I don't believe it. It's, it's ninth grade. Is it? Yeah. So what level is that? Yeah. Form two. Form two. She right. This is ninth grade. Okay. Yeah. And so, how do you feel about that? I feel like I've come a long way. I I have been both to Emerson and Ijiri. Both E. Both names that start with E. Mm. And I you, feel I feel like I did pretty good. Well, you know, I'm gonna say something. Um, Gia came here as a a delayed reader. She read, but not really. But now. I read a lot. She reads a lot. Um, so much so I have to be careful even what's in my emails and texts because she can read it. Um, yeah. So, no, that's beautiful. Ghana gave you that. You know that, right? Yeah, it did. Yeah, it gave you that. Yeah. Uh, I, I say thanks to Ghana. Yeah. Yeah. I learned how to read, to write, 
how to hold a pen better. Because I always hold the pen, I was using my whole fist to hold the pen. Because, like, mm -hmm. you know, they don't really teach that in kindergarten. No, they do teach penmanship, but we have gotten away from teaching, really focusing on penmanship. I know with us, we worked on cursive writing, um, a lot of fun stuff. They don't do that so much anymore, but we need it. You can see that we need it. Because when you first came here, you was writing big, huge. My stuff didn't fit in the, in the line. It probably took up the whole page. Yeah, so this, that's interesting. Um, I'm excited, new adventure. So listen, Wonderland's Naturals did three times better than it did when I was in my unit. So on my own with my team, I was able to push our revenue pretty high um, to the point I'm very, very proud. I look forward to sitting down and doing my taxes and actually breaking down and finding out exactly what my net is and all that good stuff. But it, it is a real, it's a small business that's a real viable business. I've been able to take care of myself and my daughter and um, pay stipends to my uh, to my team members. And we even go to the National Theater. We, yeah. we do- We go um, to a crowd, we, we, we go to Vulture. Baby, listen, let me tell you what we're doing. I have answered my son's question, which he said, tell me how you can take care of yourself in Africa with how you going to sustain you and my sister without a man. I don't hear none, he said, I don't wanna hear nothing about no man. And so I've answered my son Langston and I've been able to do that and I'm yeah. very, very proud of that. Yeah, very proud I'm of that. proud of both of you. Yeah, so I love the challenge. Um, I didn't know it would be through Etsy. I didn't know it would be through, you know, Ghanaian herbs and, and things and artifacts, but that's what, that's what it turned out to be. And let me tell you something, um, ain't no shame in my game. Ain't no shame in my game. So we finally got Gia's passport cleaned up. So because it had expired here and it was this whole process of depending on her father in the U.S. to sign a document and that whole thing. So we finally got it where it is renewed. In fact, it should be getting picked up in the next couple of days. Um, and so that means what, Gia? I'm excited. No, what does it mean in terms of what we can do? That means we can travel now. That means we can travel. And that's, that's exciting. That's exciting. Even, even I wouldn't even willing to take her to Togo with an expired passport. I want, I want the paperwork right. So we'll be able to travel. We're looking forward to traveling home. I had hoped to be home by Christmas, but it looks like we'll be home. By New Year. Um, no, more like, no, more like in January. January. Somewhere in January. We're not going to stay, but maybe a month. Yeah. And um, say hello and manage some bills and hug yeah. and kiss on my mama and <laughs> um, see what happened to our cats that pretty much got ran out the house by the woman that moved in with a dog. Come on, um, <laughs> but you know, my mother over everything. Yeah. And we're gonna see what's going on with In that. Our neighborhood. Yeah. So what else? Um, I want to wish everybody a happy, a merry Christmas, and um, I want to thank God that we got into this new year. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm still with my mom. I still got my best friend. You still got your best friend. Yeah. How, what, 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 give me a pulse on your heart. Because at one point, remember, I asked her, what, what was the pulse on her heart? Where's your heart at now? My heart is, I, 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 I still can't get it. I got I to gotta do more research because I can't really tell no more. Where your heart is at? Yeah. Well, what's your pulse on mine? Where do you, where do you think mom is? Mom is in Africa. No, my heart. How yeah. am I feeling, you know, with everything, with the challenges of this year? Where where do you feel like my heart health is? Do you feel like I'm back? I'm, I'm not. What do you feel? I feel like you're still healing. You got like at least 20% more healing to do. Okay. But you're not worried about me every day. I'm not day. worried about you at all. She, she said not at all, so that's a good thing. Yeah, I would say... Um, I probably would put me a little stronger, probably at 90%. Yeah. Um, I am happy and healthy and thriving. I do kind of have moments um, where I, I can feel like even with my sleep, like kind of grinding my teeth where there's a little stress there. But I have to give a, a shout out to uh, the beautiful Ghanaian people who in their own way now, you know, it wouldn't have been like my people at home. In the U.S., we squad up, we witch it, let's ride. But here, it was more just lovingly checking on me, seeing about me, um, making sure that I was okay. And, yeah. and that has 
definitely that has definitely made the difference so and then i just think the work yeah yeah the the, the work has been just beyond amazing it seemed like um in in a, in a odd kind of way this toxic energy removed itself like it moved i removed it and it just opened up this um portal for magnificent um people to step in and partner with me and do things with me and for me to flow in uh, a very interesting energy because it seems like i got a lot of skillets on the stove yeah. um which i do yeah you do uh, i'm doing a lot of beautiful multitasking um the work is just plentiful toilets um literacy library yeah libraries um mercy ministry yeah. uh yeah, I, I love all of it. I love what's happening with um, the store, with Shop for a Cause, with um, being able to go and 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 um, explore, explore, and and also get a get have a percentage of it that's just set aside to support other causes. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, I'm not able to do a fun Facebook fundraiser because I've been here so long. My U.S. number canceled out, um, and then I couldn't swing the bill. I got tired of swinging the bill. When I go back home. I'll open up a U.S. number and do a prepay. So I'm not able to do that type of fundraiser anymore, but I can tell you it forced me to, prove, you know, do a deep critical thinking. I'm still working on the shoestring budget. I have a, an amazing, loving group of people that they hop in where they, they get in where they fit in. So if they like a cause, they like a project, they'll write me, Doc, I want to donate to that. Um, I've gotten in the latter part, unless you have like a... a a church or a, a, a not-for-profit I don't try I try not to put people names out because I realize that here people will send friend requests and then get to begging and bugging them yeah. I never want to experience that again so what I do is I just sort of you know let them know if it's a, again if it's an organization you're dealing with layers as opposed to an individual innocently accepting your friend request and then having somebody keep contacting them pretending like they want a friendship when in fact they want something deceptive so um but in terms of my own personal interest i i i i, I can't say more you know i, I I'm, I'm almost at a short for words for people who stepped up and surprised me and sent funds when i least expected it um, but whether they send them or not, I find a way. I fight for the work because it has been the blood that um, circulated through me when I thought, you know, I was drained out from things in my personal life. So, and that's it. What else do you want to tell them? Um, you already told them. Happy New Year. Merry Christmas. Happy. Yeah, pretty much it. <laughs> me, I'm going to say, you know, listen, I believe in peace and progress. I had a friend in the U.S. and he has um, long gone to be with the ancestors but he always closed out telling me peace and progress and so in remembrance of him I've been saying it for years because it's the, it's the only thing I have of him and he was another one of the people fresh off Facebook that I never had an opportunity to meet but he worked so hard trying to get my narrative out to people to say hey you know you should learn more about the doctor so I'm going to say to you what he, what he would have said to me. I'm wishing you peace and progress as you go into 2023. And I am so grateful that people like uh, Mother Miller and um, Nefertina Abrams and my friend um, Andrea all encouraged me not to run and cower, but to stand strong and um, to remain in Africa, to continue my work, to not let any of those toxic forces, any of those back interests,